Welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric, and um, this is part of the preparation for the holidays, uh, getting ready, and I'm going to be showing you different things to to do leading up to Thanksgiving and Christmas. Welcome my old subscribers, welcome new subscribers, welcome to just viewing, and, and I hope that your views will turn into subscription. Subscribing is free. You just have to create a YouTube uh, channel. So I hope you all take the time out to subscribe and continue to view and like and thumbs up this video. And if you have a comment or a question, you can email me at simplecookingwitheric at gmail.com. <clears throat> what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a sour cream pound cake. It's called the Betty Thompson Sour Cream Pound Cake. Betty Thompson lives in Chicago, Illinois. And anybody knows she attends the Tree of Life Missionary Baptist Church, New Seesaw for Christ Church. Uh, don't ask me to explain that. But Betty Thompson, I've eaten a many cakes. I bake cakes. I know a lot of bakers, a lot of people are... Uh, get baked cakes but I tell you all I have never eaten a better pound cake than Betty Thompson's uh, I know Lador Williams also makes a great pound cake so but I was trying to figure out how do they do these pound cakes I cannot never seem to get mine to taste it's like Betty Thompson's I'm gonna call this the Betty Thompson's Sour Cream Pound Cake. The Betty Thompson of Chicago, Illinois. Sour Cream Pound Cake. And what I did find out now, she gave me the recipe and told me the steps and I keep trying to never get it right. Everybody's Sour Cream Pound Cake, the recipe only calls for a cup of butter. But Betty Thompson's calls for a whole pound of butter, which is two cups of butter. And everybody else's is only one cup of butter. So that might be the key, people. So we're going to make this cake and try to see. If I don't get it right this time, I'm going to get Betty, I'm going to go to Betty Thompson's house and let her make that pound cake. Because I think something she's doing that she's not telling me. But she says she's telling me uh, how she does it. So what you're going to need, you need a pound of butter, not two sticks. Not three sticks, not a cup of that. You need two cups of softened butter and three cups of granulated sugar. This is what I have in my mixer. And a whole pound of butter and three cups of sugar. You're also going to need six eggs, three cups of sifted cake flour. And this is my homemade cake flour. You know, I got a video on how to make cake flour. One cup of sour cream, room temperature. Everything is room temperature. And then I'm going to add a half a tablespoon of vanilla action. Now, this vanilla comes from, I brought this vanilla last year in Mexico. And it's called Elixir. It's supposed to be the best vanilla that Mexico sells. And uh, it's a vanilla super extract. Uh, you can see, it's, it's, I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of see lighting my way comes from Mexico. So it's, this is one that I, lost, I brought in uh, Mexico. So I'm going to use this for the first time because I want this cake to turn out perfect. So we're going to start out by creaming our butter and sugar. We're going to let that cream. And then I'm going to tell you the step that I think she used that nobody else has used that I found out also. So I'm going to let this cream for about seven to ten minutes. Now we see it's light and fluffy. I slowed it down, so I scraped it down a couple of times. Now I'm gonna tell y'all the other, but I learned the other thing that she does. She adds the sour cream in uh, before she adds the egg. And all the other recipes call for you to add half you need to alternate the sour cream with the flour. But Betty told me she adds the sour cream in with the sugar. 
and the butter after you know you cream it for a minute. So I'm going to add this in. Let me tell you something. Betty really don't sell her cakes, but I think around the holidays she's very busy. People have forced her to sell cakes. She don't sell cakes, you all, but she will sell them um, because that's how good this pound cake is. Her cakes are that people uh, beg her to make them and they pay her to make them for them. So we got our sour cream. I just added that. Now, Betty, Sister Thompson, Betty Thompson, she dumps all her eggs in at one time, but I'm a uh no, I'm gonna do it like she told me. I, I'm not gonna I <coughs> Dude. So Put my bowl down though, cause she, she don't. And I and I'm telling you people, I don't I don't uh I stand that thing that you know. And when somebody can do something that's really delicious to me, I don't mind telling folks that they it's the best I have eaten. Now if I'm doing this wrong, uh, Betty, you tell me. But I don't think I'm doing it wrong, cause. I, so she don't add one egg in at a time. So I'm gonna let these beat on in there. I'm going to scrape my bowl down again. Y'all, if I'm doing this wrong, I will let y'all know in the future after Betty Thompson watched this video, she will tell me what I did wrong. Okay? But I don't think I'm doing it wrong. Now I'm going to slow it down, and I'm going to add this expensive vanilla. I told y'all that I got from, um, I couldn't open it, really. Hold on, you all. It, it does. It smells so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm going to add a So that was a um, I think it was a one month ago. So that was a tablespoon and a half of vanilla. I always gotta ante up something all the time. That smells good though. That was nice and packaged.
Now you want to see. Let's get another scrape down. So you all, so so far I have um a pound of butter, three cups of sugar, one cup of uh, sour cream, and a tablespoon and a half of um, vanilla, and six eggs. And now I'm going to add, start adding the flour, which is three cups of sifted cake flour. Like I say, if I'm doing it wrong, when she watches this video, she'll tell me what I did wrong. And then I'll come back and remake it. Is that all? And you know what I forgot to add to all? I forgot to add some lemon extract. I'm gonna add a little. Let's just scrape our, let's scrape our bowl. Yo, I'm just adding some lemon. I forgot to add it. Okay. That's it. Let this, we get this a good, whisk around one more good time. And we're going to see the results. Even though you don't want it to be too long, uh, Sister Thompson told me that I might not let it be long enough. Because you know, you be so, ooh, I don't know. Let me get y'all back in the view. Okay. All right, I think that should have did it. Put it in a pan. And look, I've uh, set your oven to 325. Preheat your oven at 325. Man, I've been preheating for about 30 minutes now. And listen. If you want one of Betty Thompson's uh, pound cakes, I'm telling you all, 
They are really the best. Email me at simplecookingwitheric at gmail.com with your info, and I will pass it on to Betty Thompson. And I'm telling you, I don't know what she charged, but these are the best pound cakes I have ever eaten. The best sour cream pound cake I have ever eaten. And like I said, the key to hers, everybody else used to uh, cook in the hair for butter. Betty Thompson used a whole pound. I'm being kind of messy, ain't I? Like I don't even know what I'm doing. You know, I'm a little nervous doing Betty's pound cake. That's all. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the oven. Let it bake for about an hour. And we'll check it in an hour. I will get back to you with the results. Okay, so we get ready to take our cake out of the oven. As you all can see, Look at nice and pretty. Look at that. Ooh. How nice and golden brown it. I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to take it out and show you the end result. I tell you, you are looking at a beautiful cake. Look at this cake, folks. It's soft and more. It's still kind of warm. So, and then I made this for someone, so I'm not going to cut it. I just wanted you all to get a look of Betty Thompson's sour cream pound cake. Look at that, you all. Sour cream pound cake. Betty Thompson's. Thank you for uh, viewing the channel. Thank you for liking, sharing. Remember to thumbs up this video. And if you have any questions or Comments or something you'd like me to try, you can email me at simplecookingwitheric at gmail.com. Betty Thompson, this is your pound cake, your sour cream pound cake. Now, if when she watched the video, you all, if I messed up or did something wrong, I will get back to you all and tell you all what she said I did wrong. And um, the person that I made it for, maybe I'll video them tasting it for the first time, and then they can give you a real critique of how I did with Betty Thompson's pound cake. I love you all. Uh, look for my video on um, yeast rolls. I did one, but I'm going to do another one. I need to revise it, so I'm going to do another one. So look for that video forthcoming. And until we meet again, peace out. Love you all. God bless.